here we are, everybody. Let's um, let's test filters. So today we got the news uh, from Alistair. It's all over Twitter that filters have been removed from Rust. So let's see what they mean. Um, I haven't gotten to dig in necessarily on the announcement end. Um, I just know it's all over Twitter. So uh, so let's dig in. So I'm here on the intoxicated sandbox, uh, and let's see what we can do. Let's let's start off by setting the time to like 6 a.m. There it is, 6 a.m. It's always darkest before the dawn, is it not? Okay, so this would be traditional level of visibility. I've got off in the distance some of those dark blue grays, right? Well off in the distance, but everything short of that just appears black. Now I do have one light source here that I could work with as well. So um, if you have an NVIDIA card, Filters. Traditionally, you can open the NVIDIA menu, Alt-Z. Here's my NVIDIA menu. Game filters, it's got a shortcut, Alt-F3. Here we go. With filters, you can do post-processing to the screen, like add color correction, right? And these uh, do still operate. So you also can set a keybind. Let's go back into our settings here. And uh, if you go into your settings, keyboard shortcuts, you're going to be able to set a, uh, for the game filters, a toggle filters on and off keybind as well. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and test my most recent filter settings, and let's see what we've got, huh? So let's test the filters. So I press the filter button, and the filters are, in fact, turning on. Now, as you can see, in this kind of profile, this is a great example of what I would call fixing the filters. From what they call. Because in this little scene, there's only one spot that you're getting any advantage from, really. Because in the near field where everything is pitch black, it remains pitch black. So again, post-processing 101, if there are, if there is zero, if there is a zero there on that pixel, there's no light information, then no, po no post-processing can add any information. Uh, post-processing can't do anything if there's no color information. And then off in the distance, I can see without filters anyway, right? So we're looking at this band in between which from here looks a little bit like a rainbow. So right in the middle of my screen here, there's some bushes that without the filters on, I can't see the silhouette of, but with the filters on, I can. So let's look at this a little more closely. Let's find something with some light here and let's start playing off of this light. So I can open the filters. You can see the light doesn't bleed off it doesn't have, so these spotlights don't have a gradient area around them. It's only the ambient light that really has the gradient bleed off. And that's got to be about 200 meters or so away at this time of night. So the darkest of night really does reach a good about 200 meters. But let's start adjusting the time some more. And let's, oh, see, look, I go to 5 o'clock, and you can watch the distance of that band creep in. So let's go back to 4 o'clock. And here comes that band. Here it comes, all the way in. All the way in. So this is where filters are most effective. Because filters aren't effective on the black. See? See this black region? But at this time of night, the black region reaches maybe... 10, 12 meters, something like that, 10 to 15 meters tops um, that the blackness region reaches. But then outside of the blackness region, you have the gradient zone. And in that gradient area, we're actually seeing filter differences for sure. So again, filters are only really going to have an advantage in this rainbow band area. Once you get far enough away from the camera, you can see without filters. And once you get close enough to the camera, you're in the zero color information region. But here at 4 a.m., that's only like 10 meters away. And this band reaches out to, what, 50 meters so in that gap, that mid-range gap, I'd say I still have an advantage. I'd say that's still filters working, personally. I would call that filters working. You can see these bushes here straight in front of me as a prime example. There's a perfect example of filters operating right here.
So I would say they've... So I would say that they've adjusted the filters further, um, minimized the advantage even further. However, the advantage has certainly not been removed, and the operation of color filters has not been removed. Um, unless if I'm doing something wrong or in the right place, or have they, I mean, yeah, interesting. I don't think it's a not allowed thing because how could you make something not allowed when it's just right there built into NVIDIA? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Not press Alt F3? Is that it? Just don't press Alt F3? So to me, this looks like filters have not been removed. They've just been further nerfed. That's what I would call it. And so let's take a look at our filters real quick. Again, I set a keybind for mine. Um, I just use these again for testing purposes. Um, I look at these mostly for what it's worth um, until this issue is resolved kind of globally as a game. I look at filters kind of like I look at guns in real life. Personally, uh, I'm not trying to make a political statement here, but um, and until they're illegal, I think it's important to know how to equip yourself with one in case you're attacked by someone else with one. Right. So if you're getting terrorized by, by a night filter abuser, um, you should have the right to be able to use them as well. So I think it's important to understand how they work, to understand what kind of advantages filter users are going to have against you or have against other players. Um, and so I think this is all an important discussion um, until we get this all figured out as a community. Uh, but anyway, so I'm adjusting the brightness and contrast of the screen with a high gamma, low shadows, and high contrast, high exposure. And I have Sharpen Plus on top with really high intensity and texture details. And you can uh, dial those in to your liking. As you can see, this is a pretty grainy screen. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, it kind of hurts my eyes a little bit as well. So absolutely not the biggest fan of it, but it looks like we absolutely do still have advantage. So where you can see the blue-gray in the distance... That's where the advantage stops. And then it starts at the edge of the actual blackness, which you can see where the zero color information is here. So I'd say mid range, there's still an advantage and not at all times of night, but anyway, filters still work. GG.